the reality is I could not afford to send him to a beautiful school like this. That is the reality. And that is unfortunately the reality for many children. It's very difficult to see that in school and to know that it's so much more that they could have and be, become, but because of their situation, they, they lose out on that. Certainly I've always considered what the education the school gave me as important in my success in life. And I wanted to give that back as well. This was the first place I looked at. And after just walking in the door, really, I just kind of decided I'm not looking anywhere else because this is where I want to be. We came to the open house and I really got to see the atmosphere and see that it's a really good place. We had not planned on sending him to Hendrickin. He came to us and he said, this is something I really want to do. I also wanted to go to Hendrickin and I didn't have the opportunity to go back in, in the 80s. But having this uh, communication with uh, my wife, and, and uh, knowing Henrik and the education that he get here, I said, let's try to make it work. Honestly, what attracted me to the school was seeing him fall in love with it. And to see him when he came home from that day of shadowing, he, there was, you were not changing his mind. This is where he needed to be to excel and actually be able to grow because he wasn't being challenged at other schools. I work as a medical assistant. I have to modify my hours because of, I have a child with special needs, so sometimes appointments and different things, so I haven't been able to work more um, in order to support the kids, but do what we have to. The major challenge for us financially was I had been diagnosed in 2011 with stage three colon cancer and it had metastasized. I mean, I still owe over a quarter of a million dollars from what my insurance didn't cover on top of me not having a job anymore and then my husband taking a huge pay cut and having two other children to support. So it's extremely, that was extremely difficult. To kind of not think about what was going on, I just dove into my academics more than anything else and that's when I got into um, honors programs and kind of really became a, the student I am today and it was just something I needed to do to cope with just the, the shock really. As far as the finances, I. I was trying to figure out what I could do, and what, but I, it, it seemed almost unattainable at one point. His answer to me was that, you know, that he, he thought he could and he was going to pray. My mom was almost in tears. I was, I was so excited to finally get into a school I, I really wanted to go to. When she was in tears and he was excited, I was scratching my head saying, well, how are we going to afford it? We do have a total of five children. If I can get another part-time job and I can allocate those, whatever I, uh, those funds to the education, then so be it. One of my principal obligations in life was to give back to Hendrickin and so to give to other students what I had gotten. And the fact that it was uh, attached to the church as well and infused the values that I learned was, was only sort of icing on the cake at that point. When he was offered the Healy Scholarship that, I mean, I'm, we, I cried at the table when he got that phone call because it just made everything, all of that pressure and that stress because I knew in my heart I had to get him in this school. So I remember the phone call I received that uh, we were given a benefactor award and it was incredible because that meant that we could afford to send our son. It was very emotional, I remember crying all over the place, to know that we had the opportunity to give our son this incredible experience. My mom texted me and I was just so happy because I would know I would fit in well here and try to do well because it's a privilege to come to Hendrickin. If she had to go through this, it, in a way it was worth her having to go through this if we could find what my calling from God is and I feel like, I truly feel that it is oncology. This is his stepping stone of becoming this amazing oncologist, this amazing man that's going to help people and I feel that wouldn't really have happened if we had not found Bishop Hendrickin. Being taught a moral code at home and having it reinforced at school is super important and I think that is lacking in public schools today. The basics of being nice and helping others and treating each other as you would want to be treated. It's not like you have religion class from 
1020 to 1105, and that's the end of religion for the day, and it's treated as a separate subject. It is a part of life and is infused throughout all the educational experiences. He runs every day and he still finds time to do his homework and he's just so responsible doing, doing what he needs to do. And it just seems to be like that's the atmosphere. It's, you know, this is what is expected of you. As much as it might help the parents in their situation of paying for Hendrickin, it's really supportive to the son, the first the child going to actually going to Hendrickin, feeling the Hendrickin experience, having people care for him at Hendrickin, uh, the education, the activities, the sports. Well, we are so appreciative of, of everything. We've been so happy that Christian has been given this opportunity, and yes, I would like to see other young men have that same opportunity. It is truly a great place. It makes an incredible amount of difference in a person's life to have someone that they don't even know care enough to help somebody else's child have this experience here at Hendrickin and have this foundation and this mentorship of men in this school and the activities to develop a well-rounded individual. It really makes me feel that I have a responsibility to kind of carry on the torch of what Mr. Healy started. I think of how when I am an oncologist and I'm blessed to have enough money to donate to Hendrickin and help out a student that was like me and realize their possibilities, I truly would. To give young people a solid Catholic education that can bring them into the first ranks of whatever profession they decide to do. Because that will advance society and will advance Catholic values, besides advancing themselves and helping yourself as it helps the community service is a big part of my life and I think that it should be a big part of everybody else's life because helping others that are in need and that are less fortunate than us are it is just the greatest opportunity that I think anyone could have.